This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everybody. I am Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. We got today's trends, tomorrow's talks. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I gave up drinking. Uh, I, you know, just too many, too many problems because this guy over here. But <laughs> I had it. nothing to, well. I like how you blame Matt. Uh, I had a little it's, bit it's, to Listen, do with first off, it's never your fault. It's always somebody it's else. Always no, always I'm Ve- Vegas, Matt baby, Vegas. Uh, no, but, uh, I, and I came across this article, and it's very interesting. It's uh, something that's called uh, dry tipping. Uh, dry tipping, which <laughs> not what you're but it's called basically sober travel. A and dear on- HR. H- <laughs> but it's basically uh, becoming more and more popular. Uh, sober travel, meaning you uh, go to a travel uh, agency because they're always trying to find something like a, a niche. An, an angle. An angle, if yes. you will, right. And there's a lot of people uh, actually that would love to go to a place. Like if you go to uh, Italy... It's known you're just going to drink wine because that's what they do. Hundred percent. Right? They so, serve you a limoncello the minute you sit down you, at a table. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And when you're on vacation, you happen you're to drink. Time to drink. Greece sure. so, Uzo everywhere we went. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you get it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now what they're saying is they're finding places that will go and they'll set up a whole package and take and they, instead of drinks they have mocktails and that sort of thing. And already forty percent of the travelers are actually booking for this like company this. called Hook Travel that are booking these sober travels and it's becoming more and more popular and. That's that way, the temptation is out of the way. Okay. And then you also know, hey, I don't have to worry about Because you give up a lot, meaning not like you're relinquishing it. You give up your, a lot when you're on vacation, yeah. meaning, well, I'm not going to work out. I'm, yeah, yeah, you can I'll cave. just need one trip. You, you, right, so, yes, of I course. find that interesting. I, I'm glad to see that more and more people are jumping upon that. Dry tripping. Dr- dry tripping. And I, I did I did say dry tipping, yep. didn't I? Yeah, but you it's did. dry t- tripping. And here's a tip. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the R. Uh, dry tripping. Thank you. I was like, how do you tip on that? I didn't know. You know, they don't like that. You know what? In places, they want you to booze up because uh, oh, of course uh, they do. Uh, waitress and waiters. You waitresses. spend more money. Yeah. Yeah. The places that you don't drink a lot, the desserts, are, they push the desserts oh, on you more. Oh, yes. Very tip. true. Well, for those of <laughs> you who travel a lot and stay at hotels, this next story might make you think twice during your next trip. Check this out. A traveler posted a disturbing discovery he made in the bathroom of his hotel in a social media post he showed the door from the outside the bathroom had a lock that required a key near the top of the door okay. why can you lock it from the outside he questioned the video has been viewed more than 16,000 times many want to know what happens if someone locks you in the bathroom it's called Others the Matt say Lauer. this seems <laughs> like a scene out of a horror movie I, I, I'm sure there's a reason for it. I don't know. Do you think somebody just screwed up? And, and you know, like, is this... If it's every bathroom, that's one thing. you got bargain labor, and they didn't yeah. realize that the lock goes on the inside, you, not the outside. Yeah, you go by, all right, it's got a lock on it, move on. You don't think those sort of things. Uh, it, it is a little bit scary. And what do you yeah. do? Uh, now, uh, you know, Matt and I travel, and after he eats a lot of, you know, pork, yeah, you want to lock him in there. You room. get so, a separate room. Yes, you want to keep him in there as long as possible. You know... <laughs> i got to lay it on you, Matt. All right, we travel. <laughs> The one together. time you went surfing. Yeah, sure. All right, I'll give him that. Uh, you, you know, look at those things. I know that there are on uh, websites, especially it seems like uh, flight attendants do this. They'll teach you different things like on yes. your front door, like how to lock it. Uh, they'll show you ways people are able to unlock your door yeah. and how to prevent it and that sort of thing. So, all right, at least that person was really uh, having their eyes open for that sort of thing. It's right. Good to see. Huh? A- astute, observational. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're traveling alone, though, I guess that would be the one thing. It's like, why would you want to lock the door if you're in a hotel room by yourself? Right. That's the only time I think I'd leave the door open. <laughs> I don't want to go into this yeah. conversation about that <laughs> no, at all. About that. I'm adamant about locking the door, though. And you're always like, I ah, just let them all come in and whatever. And sometimes you find the wrong ice machine. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is the, if we're talking about leaving doors open, that can that can lead to the end of a relationship. Uh, I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree with you. That's why I say when you travel alone. It's yes. Okay. we got more uh, trendy news and entertainment coming your way. Stick around. You're watching Daily.